Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and this is actually going to most likely be the last video for 2014 and that is absolutely crazy that this year has blown past so fast but I do want to say I hope all of you had a very Merry Christmas and that it was very joyful and it was filled with love and laughter and today's video is actually going to be my I guess somewhat Boxing Day end of year sale haul. I don't usually spend this much when it comes to sort of end of year sales but this year I have gone absolutely crazy it is ridiculous how much I spent and I can't believe I actually spent that much so usually on Boxing Day I only spend probably like $50 or so but this year for some reason I just spent a lot so on actual Boxing Day I only went to dusk and um, Target and then I went to have a time with my boyfriend and have a time there I feel like for girls you don't really get a lot out of for men though they have amazing sales for the clothing and everything so I personally didn't really buy anything from Harbour Town aside from a pair of shoes and then on Sunday so Boxing Day was on Friday on Sunday I went to the new Ginger Love shopping centre with my sister and we went crazy we bought way too many things and I thought that was the end of my Boxing Day sales I thought that's all I wanted to buy until on Monday before work I went to Karen Up and um the reason why I went to Karen Up was because I wanted to go back to T2 and get another tea gift set. It was only $10, that's why I wanted to go and buy it. So when I went there, I bought it and then my sister asked me to go to Mimco and help her buy stuff. And then I ended up buying stuff from Mimco and then I went down to Lush and I went back to Dusk again and it was just a domino effect and I can't believe I spent that much but that is the first time I've ever done such crazy shopping so this doesn't happen regularly so as you can tell you can see that I have quite a few bags I guess I'll show you store by store what I bought okay so I think I'm gonna start with tea tea because tea tea is probably my favorite store I love tea I'm such a tea person and I discovered teapots this year I went a little overboard with buying teapots this year but I will show you what I bought so this one's the biggest one okay so this T2 bag is from the Ginger Up store first thing I got was this top triple treat and it's just a um, little tea gift set that comes with three different teas I believe this one is the blend of black teas you have French Earl Grey Green Rose and Melbourne Breakfast and what I didn't realize was that it comes with the little tea infuser and I actually went and bought my own tea infuser which was five dollars and turns out I have one in this box and I actually bought another box and now I have three this is the exciting part the teapot selected teapots were $25 each and that is crazy so I'm pretty sure this one retailed for like 80 or 90 dollars but it is so beautiful so that's the little lid for it so with this particular teapot it came in three colors and I really wanted it in the red but they only had the orange and blue available no orange and green available however I chose the orange one because it was part of a set there was milk jugs and the sugar bowl that were $10 each and they only had those two available in the orange color so I was like I want a whole set so I chose the orange color so this here is the milk jug and how cute is that I love the gold detailing just around it it's very subtle but it's so beautiful and this is the sugar bowl it is so beautiful I am in love with it and for the teapot this teapot is mainly for when you have like a lot of guests over and it's so big so beautiful I just love how I guess like dainty it looks and just it's so beautiful and with these pots they also come with the little metal strainer which is really handy but I'm so in love with it and I just can't believe it was $25 that is just such a bargain this one is from I think the city because my sister went on Saturday and I asked her to help me find a teapot and that pretty much started my teapot obsession but this one is a T41 most of these ones were actually sold out on the online store so I'm very happy that I was able to find them in stores so this 
color is the red color. It also comes in pink and blue. My sister got the pink one because the Junalop store actually had it. So that is the cup. It is so cute. I love the handle and just the little frills at the bottom. And because it's a T for one, the pot is very small and it just it's on top like this if you want to store it it's just so beautiful i'm most likely going to be using this so much throughout this summer just drinking tea and reading a book like i said i bought quite a few teapots so for the final teapot this is the one i bought from karen up yesterday yes so i went to karen up just for the tea set and then i ended up buying another teapot because the very first teapot that i wanted that i saw online it was completely sold out in every color but when i went to the Karen App store they had the color I wanted and I was so happy so I had to buy it. even though I had already so many teapots I I just had to buy it. isn't it gorgeous it is so beautiful I love the gold and it's just kind of your typical classic round teapot and it's just so beautiful again the T2 teapots come with a little strainer so I'm very happy with that but I believe this one is I think a three person teapot but it is just so gorgeous I am so in love with it and so happy that I stuck with my gut and I bought it and the last thing that I bought from T2 is the ice triple treat so this is the pink one and this one is mostly just a blend of flowers so you have strawberries and cream which I have been dying to try out Southern Sunrise and also Spring. Following along with my addiction to teapots, we went to Matchbox in Genoa. Matchbox is really just a homeware store where they sell, you know, cutlery and cups and baking things. So really just anything. And they had teapots, teacups and everything. And there was a sign that was saying that the teacups were $9.99. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's really cheap. $10 for a teacup. And they're really cute. And then... I asked how much was the teapot and she was like, oh no, everything here is $10. And I was like, wait, you're kidding me, right? $10, really? So I believe the teapot was originally $40 and it got marked down to $10, which is crazy. This one here is the teapot. I believe it's a kimono theme. It came in red, orange and black, but I really, really love the red. The brand is Maxwell and Williams, which is a really great home brand. And I just think it's so beautiful. The fact that it's $10 was a bargain. And along with this, I decided to get the set. So that one there was $10. And then they had the milk jug and sugar bowl set, which is here. And this is $10 altogether, which is a steal. As opposed to the T2 milk pourer and sugar bowl, they were actually $10 each. Whereas in this one is $10 altogether. So... It is a bargain. It is so very cute. So here is the little milk pourer. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And the sugar bowl looks like this. All right, before I get on to Dusk, because I bought a ridiculous amount of candles from Dusk, I'm just going to go into the little bits and pieces that I bought. Lush, everybody loves Lush. How can you not love Lush? The bath bombs look amazing, smell amazing, and just makes you happy all together. So I'm a little disappointed with myself because I didn't go to Lush until like the third, fourth day of when the sales started so I really didn't get a lot of good things because they had 50% off majority of bath bombs and by the time I got to Junalab there was like literally six types of bath bombs left and only like two or three of them were on sale and then went on to Karen up yesterday. They had a, um, a few more selections but I just wished I went on the first day to get the good deals. But I will show you which bath bombs I did get. So this one is called Butterball Bath Bomb and it's tiny silvers of cocoa butter melt in a vanilla and Lang Lang bath guaranteed to really soften you up. A French kiss a bubble bath, solid bubble bath. Pretty as a Parisian patisserie, sensual skin softening, rosemary, lavender, and coconut milk bath. And then I got Space Girl bath bomb, which looks pretty dang and cool. And it's a refreshing, fizzy, purple, and ever so slightly sparkly. The closest will get you floating in space. And the last one I got was Sinner's Bath Bomb. It 
invokes the feeling of being by a glowing fireside. On actual Boxing Day, there's a value girl near my house um, at the shopping centre where I went to Dust 2 and I went there before meeting up my boyfriend. These tops went down to $2.95 each. That is the cheapest I have ever seen a top. From Harbour Town, I went to Oraton and Oraton had a bit of a line but what I really wanted to get was another umbrella. This year for the Boxing Day sale, it was up to 70% off. So this umbrella usually retails for $75, but I got it for $19.50, which is great because I've been wanting this umbrella forever. I've just been waiting for it to go on sale because it's so expensive. From Transit, I just bought a pair of Converse's because it was buy one pair, get the second pair half price. I got my dainty Converse's. However, these ones aren't the red and black ones, they're just the black ones. They sold out of the red and black ones, so I said, you know what, it's okay, I'll just settle for these. So I got these and my boyfriend got the normal uh, Chuck Taylors. Now on to the very last store that I went to, which is Dusk. Dusk is a candle store and they are quite expensive, however, this sale was Wow. And I was so happy I was able to get such great deals because I went to that store at 9am when it opened and I was like the first person there so I got great great deals. I grabbed everything before they sold out. This is the bag of the very first Dusk store I went to. I spent I think like $60 at this place. Oh my goodness I completely forgot. Okay. I will show you guys that after dusk. I bought these little candles. They were discounted down to $5, which is crazy. And they smell so good. This one is red amber and lychee. Their lychee candles smell amazing. This was the last one there. Very happy that I got it. I picked up the oriental orchid, the same one. I think I bought two of those. And then I... I got their lighter because the lady was like, oh, would you like a lighter? It's a free fill up if you use all of it. And I was like, cool, why not? I don't really have a lighter like this. And it's like a blowtorch, literally. Can you see that? How cool is that? And this is part of the Christmas limited edition and they were marked down to $6. Their Christmas was marked down to $6 and I was so happy I grabbed them at the first dusk stores because on Sunday when I went to the Juno Lot one it was all sold out. So this is the first one, it's just a Christmas tree and it's got the candle at the top. So once you burn it's gonna look ugly but I was like this is so cute for six dollars. It's crazy so I bought that. Same one but in a penguin. Then you had the display as one left but I was like I could really care less because it's so damn cute and it's six dollars so why not and this is what the penguin looks like how adorable is that look at that little penguin it had a snowman as well but I figured the penguin would be better and then I picked up this candle it's called pink mayflower and it's a dome candle it is so beautiful I I just cannot believe it was marked down. I believe it was like 30 something dollars and it got marked down to $20. This is what it looks like. It smells amazing and it comes in a little cloche dome that you can lift up. And I was like, this is so cute. I need to get it because after I finish burning this candle, I can just keep the cloche and you know, put little cute things in it. The musk and wild strawberry soy candles and they smell so so delicious it is crazy but get three of them and they come in really cute jars they just come in jars like this and i can already smell it it smells so good it reminds me of the lychee one which i really like and oh my goodness i don't want to burn it because they look so cute but i want to burn it because i want my room to smell this amazing one of my favorite scents from dusk is midnight noir or midnight noir I don't know how to pronounce it, but it smells amazing and I can't believe they had a gift set of it. This is what it looks like. I got two of them and um, they're just Midnight Noir candles. I will open up one of them for you to see, but I just can't believe it was on sale. I believe these were like $8. So it looks a pretty good bargain considering there's one similar to this side, just taller and um, a little smaller by width, but that's like $27. So the fact that this was $8 is crazy because it is a fairly big candle and 
It smells so good, so I had to get two of them. We have one more store to get to, and that is Mimco. And um, like I said, I had no intentions on buying anything from Mimco until my sister asked me to go and buy the things for her because the Karen Up store was, I think, the only store that had everything she wanted. And then I saw bags from sale, and this is called the Secret Couch Bag and it's very very popular and it retails for $200 but this and a few other colors were marked down at $299 so I got it in I believe this one's called Fairy Floss it is so cute this one has silver detailing whereas I was kind of leaning towards um, Blossom Pink which is a lighter shade of pink with rose gold details but they were completely sold out of that it's a crossbody bag which I have been wanting to find a really cute one and I just, I just can't believe that this was on sale. It was half price. How amazing that is. Such a good deal. And it comes with two zip compartments and just one open one in the middle. I just think it's so cute. And the fact that it was half price just makes me really, really happy. So that is all for this video. It's also the last video of this year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked a few of the things. So maybe next year you guys will plan out how you will shop and maybe look forward to perhaps buying similar things because they are really good deals. So I think that's really all I have to say. I hope you guys like this video, subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And the next time I will see you guys will be next year. I hope you all have a brilliant New Year's Eve. Stay safe if you're going drinking or partying, anything like that. And I hope that when you start your new year, it is going to be an amazing year for all of you. Bye.